change positive thinking to manifest a positive life. Let's go, let's go. Happy Divine Rising. Let's get it, y'all. Welcome, welcome. Happy Rising. I have an amazing life. Hope everybody's feeling fantastic today. I am so lucky. I'm feeling luxurious today. I am an ambitious overachiever. Today's going to be a good trading day, y'all. Uh, Every day. I move very good trading day. We're going to get started here in about two minutes. I deserve success. Getting started now in about two minutes, y'all. Drop there OTC in, I cannot do. in the chat bar. If you want to hear, drop OTC. I am destined for great. Drop OTC in the group. I am a money magnet. Let me see, Vlad. About to get him, about to I hook up to uh, residual income. We're about to hook up to the Facebook right now. I prosper wherever I go, in whatever I do. Right. Every day, I am becoming wealthier and wealthier. Let's go, let's go. Load them up, load them up. I am financially Drop abundant. OTC in a group. Drop OTC in a group. I am Telegram a group, success. 12 group, OTC. Unexpectedly, money falls into my lap. OTC, OTC. I receive money by thinking luxuriously. I am building unlimited streams of income. All right, we're going to start here in about one minute. I am one minute, y'all. One minute, let me get some more people in. Income. All right, bet. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna get started in 30 seconds. Just loading up everything, connecting everything. Let's get started in 30 minutes. I got people on Instagram wanting to get in. I am grateful for my. Are you gonna do the live here? Oh, let me see somewhere else. Money automatically. Hold on, y'all. Got people hit me up on IG. I am no longer limited by old conditioning. Man, I hope y'all are feeling fantastic today, y'all. Today is going to be a great trading day. I can do anything. A great I trading day today, y'all. A great trading day. I feel it. I am always visualizing We'll start here in 15 seconds. If you know somebody that's not on the phone, get them on the phone. I am prosperous. We're going to start here in 10 seconds. Get them on the phone. Wealth. I am creating the life of my wildest dreams. All right, y'all. Uh, my reality. We are live. Let's get it. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. Uh, my name is Isis Love, you guys. Um, I've been um, within our trading community for about three and a half years. I've been using this strategy for... Let me turn my music down. I've been using the strategy for about two years, the strategy I'm going to show y'all tonight. Some of you guys are probably really familiar with the strategy because this is very simple. It's very common. I'm gonna mute some lines real quick. And uh, that strategy is just basically breaking and retesting the support or the resistance zones. Uh, me personally, I love that style of trading. I feel like it's uh, very, very easy for people to, um, to understand that style of trading. One thing that I would definitely say is you definitely gotta be patient. You gotta be patient with the strategy because it may take a while for the move to hit, but I'm telling you that thing works, right? So let's go ahead and let's dive straight into it. And like I said, if you're just getting on, go ahead, make sure you invite a friend on this call, send them the Zoom link. Um, you know, if you're here live, tag somebody on this video because we are live, but let's get it, y'all. Now I'm gonna um, show y'all some examples of some charts that were already uh, marked up. I actually had to take the trading view off of my computer. You guys, you got to be so disciplined to the point, like, and I'm going to tell y'all, it's, sometimes it is a struggle. I'm going to be transparent with y'all. Like, I have to literally take trading view off of my computer when I'm done trading. Because if I keep trading view up on my tabs, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep looking at the chart, keep looking at the chart, keep looking at the chart, and possibly get back in, right? So trading is 10% technical and 90% mental. So technically, you could actually be, um, hello, technically you can actually, uh, you know, really know how to trade, but mentally you might not just have that discipline. And we know 
it takes patience, you know, discipline and consistency to be a profitable trader. You know, if you're just trading sometimes and not always trading and not really staying disciplined in your practice, you're not going to be very good at this, right? So this one, I'm going to come back to this. This is my baby, you are 30, but I did mark up a couple. I just want to show y'all some examples of the strategy real quick. Uh, let me see where we are with this one. I think we're trying to see how I mark this up because sometimes I'll be remarking them. Oh, real quick, hold on. Before we get started, too, I always like to do this. Go follow uh, follow me on Instagram, you guys. Um, show me some love. Let people know that this is what we do in the rising is mark up these charts. So if anybody is just getting in and you're not following me, make sure to follow me on IG. Follow me on IG, all right? That's, if y'all can do anything for me, it's follow me on IG, all right? So let's talk about this chart right here. I'm just getting my bearings together. I wanted to see like where I marked this thing yet, but all right, let me see. I'm still letting people in the group. All right, bet. Remember, invite somebody on this call so they can get these nuggets. This is open for guests who's not in our community as well. All right, there kind of goes that 50% that the kid was talking about. But check this out, you guys. I'm, I'm really trying to see where I marked this up. Let me do another one. I think that one's so old is old. All right, bet. Here was a perfect example, right? So um, we had the top and we had the bottom. Right, we had our, and I'm gonna show you guys how to mark it up, so don't don't even worry. But we had, I'm really trying to see where these starts started at because I didn't actually. All right, bet here it go. Here's where here's where it was. This was my extra TP line. So here it goes. All right, so we had our two lines because I keep all of my lines on there, right? But anyway, we had uh, we had uh two lines, right? We had our ceiling and we had our floor. Right, and we were waiting for it to either break above or break below. I love this this strategy, and I'll break it down in just a second. But I love this strategy because, um, all a lot of people when they first start trading, they they're like, "Isis, well, how do I know when to buy, and how do I know when to sell the market?" Well, you know when to buy and sell the market based off of where did it break. So in this um, you know, example right here. You know, we got the break of structure right here. All right, we got the break of, they kind of like broke here. It could not, it depends on where you entered in, right? Because if you would have, you look, oh my gosh, it broke, right? The next retest candle was like around here. So if you would have got in on that entry point, you would have been in a little drawback of about 16 pips, but bam, it would have went down. 39 pips so this could be an entry depending on what like when you seen it but if you guys look at it look these are my two lines i drew up i waited i waited i waited voila i got magic so the first confirmation is you want to see the market break above or below if it breaks below it's a sale if it breaks above it's a buy right <clears throat> so excuse me so boom we got that break right there right now this is where we had got our retest if y'all see anybody in the uh, chat, uh, wait, wait, well, let me know because I'll be in the zone. All right. So um, now let's look at, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take questions too, so don't worry. And then boom, that candle right there, we got the retest. So what would have happened was, so the first confirmation, is, second confirmation is you're waiting on the retest. You want to meet some lines, meet some lines. Cut your music down. Okay, cool. I'm going to cut the music down. All right, let me see. Make sure y'all can hear me. I'll be playing my affirmations. Hold on, y'all. Since my say turn the music down. All right, bet. Does that sound better, Miss Jackie Brooks? All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, amazing. Thank you. So you would the third confirmation is since we're going for a sale, we're kind of looking for um, we're looking for we're looking for uh the candle to be turning red, right? So you could have probably entered here, but if you would have entered here, of course, your stop loss would have been back some. So this is why I say you would have been in a little bit of drawdown, but then your take profit 30 pips would have been, and it all depends on your trading plan. I go for 30 pips. Let me make this green so you can see. Uh, where's my green line? All right, bet. 
Now that was an entry, or you could have waited until right here. Look how sexy this is. It just keeps doing this. Is a this is a double entry depending on when you looked at it. Look right here. We got a break of the structure, right? It broke. And when it breaks, you want it to break and close. You want that bad boy to close on up. So it broke and closed. We got the retest, this little cute candle right here, that green candle. And then look how sexy this thing was. Sexy as, mm, sexy AF, baby. That thing went down 40 pips. And you only need 30, right? So it did it again, right? It came back up. It retests. Right, the same area and drop back down again. This is the third time you could have ate off this one chart. 30 pips, about right there. Right, 30 pips right there. Now let's remark this up, right? Let's remark it up. So, right, I know y'all taking notes because y'all money makers, right? So, we're going to start marking up on the hour. Now, I know we got other people in the organization that does this as well. I do mine just a tad bit different. I started off with Christopher Derrick one of our amazing educators, and I never looked back. I just stuck with Christopher Derrick's uh, strategy. This is why I originally learned it at, but afterwards I kind of switched it up just a tad bit as far as how my lines go. So write your notes. First step one is um, make sure that you're on the hour chart. That's step one for me from what I do, right? Is make sure that you're on the hour chart, make sure you got your period, but make sure you're on the hour chart. Step two, you want to identify your support and your resistance. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. When I first start trading, um, and when I first, when I first, first, hold on, I'm gonna fix that. But when I first, 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 first start trading, I'm gonna go ahead and put my IG name on here. I see we got people still loading up on Facebook and stuff. So, like I said, just follow me on IG if you're not. But when I first, first got started trading, y'all, I could not wrap my head around how to do support and resistance. It just didn't make any sense to me. So don't feel any type of way if you're still trying to figure out, like, how do I find the highs? How do I find the lows? Like, don't stress yourself out. One of the things, let me grab some water real quick. One of the things that really helped me out is that I just continued to be on the charts and just continue to mark up lines. I think it was one session I was on with somebody. I don't know who that was, but that's why a lot of information is caught, not taught. That's why you gotta stay plugged in these calls. But I was on somebody's call and they said something and the support and resistance was like, ah. I was like, I understand it now, right? So it'll take a little bit of time and I definitely do my best to explain how to find it because that's another thing. So look, so this is where the market currently is. Let me move this black line because I didn't want that there. All right. So this is where the market currently is. This little cute little red candle looking cute. Look at how it's sticking out. Look at it. That's where the market is. So in 47 minutes, this little cute red candle is going to be done forming. Now, at, a, at the end of 45 minutes, it could be any size. It could be long. It could be short. Right. It just depends on what happens in the hour. Right. So that's what the market currently is. So what I'm going to do is I want to look for my swing low, meaning I want to look to the left and I want to see the next uh, level of support that the market struggled in, right? So just because I've been doing this for so long, I'm already looking at this area right here, this, this area, this black line right here. So what I do is to, to test to make sure that's a good area, I look in the past, right? So let's look in the past and let's see how this black line has been affected. So sometimes I go to a higher time frame. I work between the hour and the four hour. So sometimes I go to the four hour time. Uh, and if you look at it, this is a moon indicator. Um, I am more of an intuitive trader. I tr I'm a sentimental trader. So I might even a lot of y'all, a lot of times, like when I trade, yes, I'm using fundamentals. I use the news. Yes, I'm using um, technical analysis. But a lot of it also is just me feeling like I just feel the market. And so I figure I'm going to put these moon cycles up here because we as human beings are affected by the moon. Now, you don't have to go too far back to back test. You know, you don't have to go so, so far back. But let's go. Let's let's let me see. Let me see where I want to start this off at. Uh, let's be right here. Right. Let's look at this right here. This is sexy AF. Oh, oh. It do something to me. And let's, let's start right here. It's all right. It's all right. It's just so much. I love this, right? So check this out. So remember, in the present, now I went in the past, but in the present, this black line is represented 
as a support for our current market, right? But when you go in the past, and people ask, well, ISIS, how far you gotta go back in the past? You ain't gotta go back that far, right? But look at how sexy this was. Now, support and resistance is the same thing, interchangeable, depending on what position it's in, to be honest. Support and resistance is the same thing. You can change places. I'm gonna show you how it can change places. So in this example, this black line is represented as a resistance to these candles. ISIS, what the heck What you mean? How, what? Look, let me explain. Because if we look at these candles right here, this black line is resisting it. It's closing down on it. So imagine these little candles being us. These, this is all of us. We just chilling, right? And then we got the ceiling. We trying to push through the ceiling. We can't push through the ceiling. It's resisting us down. So the black line is on top of the candles. So it's represented as resistance. Now, pay attention. Look at how it broke through. Retest and trade it. So now this black line that used to be a resistance is now a support. Now we on top of the roof. Look at this, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it to the bank, right? So now it switched places, right? And if you look though, this black line, remember we're gathering information. So I'm like, hmm, in the past, this black line was a resistance, meaning the market couldn't really break it before. And also in the past, this market was a strong support area. Right. Um, let me see. So if I just like look all up in here, look at how it tapped it. Came down, tap, 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 tap. It's just tap dancing on that mug, right? It can't break it, right? It's just tap dancing right now, right? Hold on, let me see. So if we was to get in the trade, if we was here in the past, just really quick, just I'm just I'm just curious. Man, that's a freaking 180 pit move, baby, and within a four hour time span, of course, right? That was sexy. So let's look at this black line again. We're not done with this black line. We're not done with it. Look at it again. It came down, tapped it, couldn't break it. Couldn't break it, right? Boom, finally broke this black line. We're focusing just on this black line. I'm seeing why am I choosing this black line as my support? Look at it. Broke, so sexy, retest, so sexy. Woo, we could have traded. This is the past now. I'm just showing y'all that this black line has been affected, right? Let's keep going. Making my way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> y'all know this song, right? Yo, shut your face. Huh? Oh, somebody in the back. I'm about to say, damn, that was rude. Me on my session, tell them to shut <laughs> I'm so sorry, I, I did I not even realize really that was on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'm like, damn, was was this? I know I ain't the best of single, but damn. <laughs> so check this out, you guys. Once again, remember, we're just analyzing this black line. We're just seeing why we poke, we pick this area to be a support, right? Look at this. All these candles right here was previously a resist. This black line was a resistance to these candles. It finally broke through, retest, and traded. So sexy. Needless to say, this area right here is an area of resistance, right? Either resist or break through. Same thing. We still here. Look at how the market came down, tapped it, couldn't break it, tapped it, couldn't break it. Broke it a little bit, came back up. It's consolidating. This is an area where shit moves. It happens, right? So needless to say, you guys, if you look, the area has been uh, tampered with, passed through, all of that. That brings us to where we are now. Right. That's exactly. And that's what you call back testing. You just that's how I got better is that when I started to place and I'll show you all another trick at the end. But that's how I got better to be able to know where my lines is. Now, bet we got our support. Right. We got our support line on there. Right. Remember, step one, make sure you're on the hour chart. Make sure your pair is there. Step two, identify the support and the resistance. We just identified the support. Now we're going to identify the resistance. Right, so off the tops, my mind is looking like right here. I'm like, let me see what's going on. That don't mean I'm gonna pick it there. What are we doing? We're going back in the past and we're seeing how this area has been affected. Now, let me see. I could do it there. And I'm gonna explain to y'all because I heard some people on the call last night. They was like, Well, how do I know like where to put the line at? Like I put my line one way, then I get confused. Now let's focus on these lines right quick, right? Let's see where I'm gonna actually make my ceiling. And I might do a three-way combo. The three-way combo is when I just leave three lines there. And I'll show you guys that too. 
So right now, let's focus on this black line right here. That's a little darker, right? It's a little darker. And I'm going to take questions. Don't worry. Don't trip. I'm going to take questions. I'm going to take questions. And if you're just tuning in from uh, Facebook or IG or whatever, make sure y'all follow me on IG. All right, there go my name. Now, check this out. Let's look at this black line. Now, already, sexy AF, I see what's going on. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Meaning it wasn't able to break it. It just tapped it. Right? Right here. Another example. Came down a little bit. Couldn't break it. All right? Let's keep talking about it. Let's keep going. Making my way downtown. Just going. I might put it on a four-hour chart so I can just scrunch it up. I don't have to scroll back so far. All right, we're gonna let somebody in. Boom, iPhone. All right. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And you don't have it, it. A lot of people are like, well, how far do I go back in the past? Like, you don't gotta go that far back, but <clears throat> I'm just going far back just to show y'all, you know. So if y'all see, like, the market hasn't really made it to that point, like. Finally, we got some action. Like, look, once again, man, this is man, this is so sexy. When you see it, you see it. If you see it, just drop, I see it in the chat bar. If y'all see it, remember, we focus on this dark line right here. If y'all see this, put, I see it. Look at this bad boy. It broke through. It retest and traded. Sexy as F. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. There's no way I can make this stuff up. That bad boy went up about 200 and something pips, probably and some more, right? So remember, we're paying attention to this black line because I want to see if that's where I want to put my resistance because I'm paying attention to how the market acted at this point. So I see I got a little activity right there in the past, right? Another thing that I want, okay, so let me see how far I'm going to go back. Um, I might not go that far back. Same thing here. There we go. I got some activity there. I got some activity there. Now, let's go back present moment. Now, I feel like that's a good area. However, now let's bring it, let's change this color um, to purple. But let's look at this area too. This area has been tapped from that way, right? So this is why I said sometimes I may do like a little, depending on the pip count, that's kind of like that 50% mark probably, right? But let me go back in the past. It came down, it tapped this area right here. It tapped it right there, right? It gets crazy around there. It came down, tapped it, came down, tapped it, all right? Same thing. This is another good area, right? So anywho, let me go back to the hour. See, that's why we have this going on right now. So in this case, let me see, hold on. What pair is this? It all depends on your trading plan because this thing right here may come up to this line and go back down. Right, but I don't want to confuse y'all, so we're not going to use this middle line. That's a little bit more advanced. I want to keep it really simple. So I'm gonna put the black line here. Right, I'm gonna put it like around, like around here. So the only thing we're waiting to do. So let, let's let's take it back. Step one: mark it up on an hour. Step two: identify your support and your resistance. Now we're going on to step three. Step three is you can draw these little cute lines if you want, right? I think a kill calls them frog legs. I don't have a name for it. Is it going to break, 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 come back down, retest, and trade, right? Now, I don't use the double line thing. I used to use the double line thing um, because that's how Christopher Derrick did it. Um, when you do like this, for example, like when you come in and let's just say you want to scoop it up, <clears throat> um, you know, you come in and you do the, uh, it is not wrong or right. I just... I just don't do it. Um, I could have did like a line here and then I could have came over here and, you know, filled it in and said, hey, when the market breaks these two, you know, these two lines, then I'm getting in. I started, I was doing that. But then I said, you know what? Ultimately, ultimately, I wanted to break this black line. So I'm not going to draw two lines because I wanted to break that line anyway. So I wanted to make this so simple. I wanted to make it so simple for people where people only had to draw two lines and wait. Simple. That's it. That's It's a three-step process. So identify your chart. Make sure you're on the hour chart. Mark it up on the hour. Identify your support and your resistance. The third step is to draw your little lines on there. The last step is to put it on a fifth. I'm, I'll wait for the break and retest on a 15-minute chart. Right? Some people do the hour. I personally do the 15. Uh, the 
Is it a right or wrong? No, it's no right or wrong. It hit if you do it for an hour. It hit if you do it for the 15, right? Then we put it on the 15 and we wait. Now, what I recommend is that you get the paid trading view. If you have the paid trading view, you'll be able to come over here, put these little cute little alerts, alerting you when it has came up to this line. I haven't tried it. I normally do all market executions, but what I learned from the kill section is that they do limits. Um, so let's just say I was watching this and it broke through this black line. I will go ahead and put a, um, a buy limit in so that when it comes back down and hits this black line, it knocks me in the trade. So that's something that you could do as well. So I want to mark up some more, but I want to stop for a second and take questions. I feel like I've just been going a mile a minute. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, good morning, Isis. Uh, this is Tangie. I have a question. Rising. Um, so uh in the so one question that popped up last night um was actually one that I had, but he uh really didn't go like really didn't like go in depth. So uh how do you like how do you find out if your trade like if your broker uh if their numbers are spot on with trading view? Like is that is that like by broker or is that something that you can choose? Nah, not really. So basically, Oanda is the closest one to most brokers. So when you first, when you, so let's look at it real quick. So let's just say I want to go over here and I want to do AUD, uh, JPY, for example. Uh, hold on, let me type it in, JPY. You see how I got all these different brokers? So if FXCM was your broker, then you could just look at the pair from there. If Oanda was your broker, then you could look from, from there. So on and so forth. If you got Crankin or all these other ones. However, Oanda is the closest when it comes to the spread. It's like, let's just say it's like the universal. So anytime I choose something, I choose Oanda. It's not going to be spot on. But what you could do is just look back at your um, MetaTrader 4, see where the market is on your MetaTrader 4, and then see where the market is on TradingView. Because MetaTrader 4, live account, is hooked up to your brokers. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. That Thank you. Did I break that down a little bit better for you? Yeah, that makes sense because I was I was a little bit confused at one point what those were, but now, now I get it. I get it. Got you. Amazing. Great question. Anybody else? Success. No question is a dumb question. Definitely get them answered, you guys. I, I have a question. Hello, hello, everyone. Hey. This, this Jackie Isis. Hey, Jackie. So um, I follow along very well. Um, and thank you for your time. Thank you for taking your time out to show us this, to break it down even simpler than, um, this is even simpler than what I Akil has showed us. When you eliminate the, um, the other two lines but my question is when I like I did this last night did the well not yours but what Akil showed us mm -hmm. and then I went in to put in my um sell limit on a trade but it would not take for a sell limit so I end up having to put in a sales what is it a sell stop mm -hmm. is that normal now, let me ask you something. When you did that sale limit, did it already break through either of your lines yet? No. That's that's what it is. You want to, for, so for example, that's why, that's why I was like that. Limits is set up different. So for example, if, let's just say, let me make it bigger. So, uh, okay, cool. So this little cute green candle we got right here, let's just say you was present when this happened. Like you was present when this was happening. So since it already broke through this black line, then you could have went in and only did a sale limit and this black line would have been your numbers because it already broke through. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like with the limit orders, you got to have it already kind of like break through. And so then what would have happened was this candle would have came back down on the next 15 minute. It would have activated your limits order and would have brought you in the market. Okay. Now, with the, now with the stops, you could do the um the sale stops even before it hit this black line because remember the sale stop is like, hey, I know it's going to hit this black line. I don't want to wait, but I know it's going to do it. So it's just a little bit different. The limit and the stops is different. You could do it prematurely with the stops, but with the limits, you got to kind of like you know what I'm saying. So that's why I set up the um 
the alerts on my trading view and then they'll send it to myself. I'm out and about. I have it marked up on my um, trading view on my cell phone and then I'll get an alert on my email. I'm like, bet it's breaking my bottom line. Let me go ahead and do a, a buy limit or a sell limit just in case I'm not present when that next 15 minute candle form. Okay. Try it out. If, if you're watching it and it finally makes that break to the top or the bottom, uh, go ahead and try to limit it in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to drop this one in the group. Does anybody have any other questions? We're going to um, um, mark up some more. I have a hot. Okay. 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 I have a question. Uh, I just wanted to confirm when I'm looking, when I'm implementing these uh, resistance lines, I'm looking for my uh, for my lows and my highs. I get that. Um, so just uh -huh. real quick, the, the steps are go on the one hour chart, and then on the one hour chart, I identify my support and my resistance. On the one hour. And uh -huh. then, and then I look for the uh, then you know look for the uh, retest and the uh, the test and retest um, to make sure I can confirm which way the market is going to actually go correct. And then were, were you finished talking? Uh, no, um, I'm on my phone and somebody just threw my talk. Uh, I'm still on, but. My oh, it's hard to hear you. I think they threw your uh, volume off. <laughs> yeah. The call did, but now is my volume is really low now. Hold on. Oh, I can hear you better. I can hear you better. Okay, there, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, like I said, um, but then I go to the 15 minute to uh, see the play develop. Yep. You wait for the play okay. to develop on the 15. Okay. Got you. Amazing. Now look at this, y'all. This is sexy. I'm gonna take some more questions in a, in a second. I got some people in my Facebook group. Is my favorite because it's slow. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna mark up. I'm gonna mark up uh, some of these pairs on here. So y'all stay on this line on uh, Facebook. Y'all stay on here. And if anybody on Facebook wants to be able to like hit up my private group, y'all just inbox me. Now look at this. Now this I'm gonna teach y'all another technique. This ain't got nothing to do with the strategy, but this is what I did when I first started marking up charts. Like this is just so sexy. Real quick, if y'all see it, put I see it in the group. Like, if y'all see this, I just got to know if y'all see this before I break it down. Like, if y'all see this, just put, I see it. I see it, baby. I got to see if y'all see it with me, baby. Oh, oh, somebody say, Jay says she see it, right? Y'all, this is so sexy. Look at this uptrend. I mean, baby, you could have rolled this to your freaking socks fell off. Peep game, right? So the only thing I did is I came in here and I did my support and my resistance at every level that I seen this re retest, right? For example, let's talk about it. This market went up. Maybe I'm making my way downtown. This is so sexy. Woof. Try not to let it get to me, y'all, because stuff like this turned me on. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like the market turned me on. Now look at this. That thing broke, and it, it could have did it right there too. You put a little line right there so I can show you. This got nothing to do with the strategy. This is just market analysis, right? So the thing came up, it broke, it retested right here. This candle went shot all the way up. It broke through this black line, retest, went to the next level, right? Came back down, retest, went all the way up again. Broke through this black line, retest, went all the way up. But it retest right here. So the break. So the break in the retest happened there, but let me see how many pips that would have been. But you brought in a major pips up there. But anywho, it broke, it retest, traded. It broke, it retest, traded. Now here we are present day. Look at these levels. And they do the same thing. If we go in the past, baby, baby, they do the same thing. Come back down, break, retest, trade. Break, retest, trade, right? Um, retest, traded down, broke down, retest, traded, starting all over again. It's just amazing. It's just so sexy. The way it just, 
Look, you know that song, climbing the stairway to heaven. I feel like it just climbed the stairway. That was sexy. So I just had to show y'all that real quick. So let's go back to the hour chart. Let's go to the hour chart. Let's remark it up. Yes, I love INO. I'll tr I'll do that one next. INO, I love that. We're going to do some stocks too. Because really, I don't even really trade Forex. I trade stocks on the Forex market. I really don't. Tr I trade indices, right? I, I mean, I, every time I try to go back to Forex, it just irritates me because it's so slow, <laughs> right? It's just so slow for me. Indices, you be in, you be out, you be about your day, right? Now, look at this. It already did the break and retest, basically. Oh, my God, it's so sexy. This bad boy going to come up to about right here. How do I know this? Am I like Miss Cleo? <laughs> no, I'm not Miss Cleo. I'm going to show y'all why. Right? Just we just doing some back testing real quick before we fully mark up this chart again. Right? I'm not Miss Cleo. I promise y'all. I mean, I can't read the future, but I'm not Miss Cleo. Check this out, y'all. Why? Somebody just tell me, though. Why would? Okay, it broke. It retest. Why would I choose this green line? Just off the rip. Why would I choose this green line for my take profit? That's the next high. Next level. Let's look at it. Y'all know I like to go back in the past. I know they said don't go back in the past, but in this instance, you do. Look at it. Bam. Got stuck in the past right there. Bam. Tap this line in the past. Bam. Tap, tap right there. Whoop. Look, one of our alerts is going off. We're going to check that out in just a second. You see how that alert go off? And I just got an email. Right? Bam. Tap, tap. Bam. Tap, tap. Bam. Tap, tap. Let's look at it, y'all. Call this tap mark tap tap dancing on the charts, right? And if you look at this green line again in the past, the market has came up and it tapped it again, right? So needless to say, once again, look at that, tap it again. So this is another level uh, where the market, um, you know, um, is another high where it has experienced activity yet. So this is probably going to go here, right? So sexy. However, let's remark it up. And like I said, if you just tuning in, go ahead. Hit that follow button on Instagram. Follow me because I am about to go on another tour. I travel around the world and I do this. That's all I do is trade, travel, and transform people's lives. Right? I love it. Right? Hey, can I ask you a question? So, let's sure. Let's get let's get it. So at that at that at that green line, right? Oh snap! Now you, now just history suggests that it's gonna hit there and then you're gonna be good. Now do you think that it exceeds that and then pops back down, or do you think that that it stays there and then it goes back down for its decline? Well, that's a good question. That's why we're about to remark it up because this is a level where the market comes and goes back down. So what we would want to do is guess what? We would want it to break this green line, retest and go back up. So each mm. level or each, yeah, each level we're waiting for break, retest, go back up. Like here, broke, retest, up. R broke, retest, up. Retest, yeah. up retest up next thing retest up that's what we're predicting right we don't know okay so that green line acts as an average basically it's, it's about to act as our um i may make it it i'm no it's gonna well right now well hold on let me take that back so it's acting right now as a level a, a key level but right now i want to remark the market up and i want to take off all of these lines Right. This is going to be this is where we are now. So we're waiting. We we. I mean, you could get in that trade technically because it has did the break and retest. I mean, you could, but I'm not going to get in there because it already happened. Yeah, it went up six pips, but I wanted to get that sniper entry right there. So some people could enter right now if they wanted to. I want to personally wait until it makes the next move. Right. So all this is the new markup. So let me let me just delete all this. I think it's going to answer your question. So this is where we are now. <clears throat> right is exactly where we are right so i wouldn't get into this market and as you see right here this market broke this was a fake out and you have it it don't always work y'all like sometimes you'd be like um like for example it broke it retest and never went up it never went up it would have been a fake out right i mean we probably wouldn't enter because we would have seen this candle red and not green but that was a fake out now, so to answer your question, now I'm waiting because it already, the move already happened. I didn't want to get in too premature, but somebody could have got in. I just want that sniper, sniper entry. I want it like right there, right? So technically what we're waiting on, and I could move this down a little bit. Let me see. I might move it to about right there. 
right? So technically, what we're waiting for, what are we waiting for, y'all? Okay, so let me, I'm brand new. I identified my um my support. First thing I did was make sure I was on the hour chart. Second thing I did was did my support and my resistance. What am I waiting for now, y'all? <clears throat> break and retest. I'm ready for a break. Okay, and what chart am I going to be in? 15. What I mean, what? 15. Yep. Yep, 15. 15. Marking up on the hour. Waiting on the move on the 15. Easy ass freaking sliced bread, y'all. Like that's it. And it do the same thing. It do the same thing if you was to do the double lines, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make it very, very simple. I've been using it like this um, for about a year. I've been doing the whole totality of the strategy for about two years, right? Does anybody have any questions real quick mid midway? So basically, you're just marking up the most recent high and the most recent, most recent low. That's it. That's it, y'all. I'm not waiting for the ketchup to cross the mustard. I'm not waiting for none of that. I'm waiting for it to break above or break below. If it break above, I'm buying. If it break below, I'm selling. Simple, right? And so when you're doing your take profits, let's talk about it. When you're doing your take profits... Oh, hold on real quick. This is S&P 500, by the way. I'm going to put all the ones in the group that we marked up. Hold on. We got some more people. Make sure if you're just typing in, I got to keep saying this. Make sure that if you're just tapping in on Facebook, y'all, go ahead and follow me on IG right, right, right now because I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my next session. Even y'all on the squad, I'm going to be giving a trip giveaway. Y'all know we're going to Vegas here soon, and I will be giving away a four-night, three-day stay in Vegas. So definitely follow me on Instagram so that you can enter in the drawing. Now, let's talk about it. So when S&P moves, S&P moves a good, like, S&P moves, like, in increments of five pips, between five and ten pips, right? Between five and ten pips. So with s and always just make sure – let me see. That's another level about right there. That's another level. That's 25 pips. Well, s and I'll probably make my take profit right there. Like, it'll probably be a... Hold on. Let me change this color. Uh, let me see. So, like I said, if you just coming in, make sure you hit me up on IG. Hit me up on IG. Now, look, this is another area where the market has tested. So, I will probably make that my... um take profit. I would want it. Now, don't get caught up in the hype because a lot of times people get caught up in the hype and I have did it before. That's why I'm telling y'all don't do it. You'll see it breaking. You're like, it's breaking. I'm about to get in right now for a sale. It's breaking now. But baby, that candle can draw up and get so little on you real quick and go the opposite direction. So you want to make sure it break and close. What do, what, what do I mean by close, Isis? I mean that that 15 minute candle want to be closed. They want to be done, right? You don't want to hop in too prematurely based off of FOMO. Trust me. I did it so many times. So, so, so many times. So many times. You're not the only one, right? So it's the same thing. That's how you identify your take profits. You identify your take profits by simply going to your entry points and scaling up the um, the ruler and so on. So I'll drop this one in the group um, so y'all know. Put that one to the top. I'll take some, uh, some pair, pair requests in just a second. Y'all see that we had got some activity earlier, but let me remark this one up real quick. And then I'll take some more questions and then we'll mark up your favorite pair. So let me delete this. A lot of times I just keep my lines because the lines do the same thing. But since I'm showing you guys, um, I'm doing this. Now, let me tell y'all. Now, right now, the market is here, right? The market's still moving. So sometimes what I do is I'll go to the four hour chart just to get another little view, let me let me see how that because if I want to put my black line there, I just want to get another view. Let me see what time it is too, because I can stay on here forever and then I gotta do my trading. Okay, so let's look at this black line. It's a lot going on around this area. Oof, I don't like it when it look like this. Wicked. Let me go back to my hour chart. Okay. Wiki, 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 wiki. Hmm. All right. Let's be some scientists. Let's create some data. Okay, we're marking up on an hour, but let's see why I picked this black line. If we go back in the past, bam, it tapped this area. It couldn't break. Yeah, it did break it, but it went back up. 
right? Came down, tapped this black line, came down, tapped this black line, came down, yeah, it broke it. But when it came back up and acted as a resistance, it still couldn't break this black line. Tapped it, couldn't break it. Tapped it, couldn't break it. Came over here. Same thing as it, when this line was a resistance to these candles, came up, couldn't break it. Came down, couldn't break it. Came down, yeah, it broke it a little bit, but it's still consolidating. So what I'm looking for is the resistance and the consolidation on this black line, right? So I'm feeling pretty confident. I want to go ahead and make this my support because this area is like a little area anyway where it'd be tripping, right? So let's talk about why I'm going to do my resistance. So that's my support. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, making my way downtown. I'm gonna have to go watch White Chicks because that song is stuck in my head. Uh, now I want y'all to know you don't gotta be like a perfectionist with this. Sometimes I'd be like really trying to line it up. Like, let me see, right? But look at this. So I picked this line, right? Let's make it bigger. Let me see, and I, and I could have did it up like a little bit more, like, let's, let's do it right now. All right, bet, bet, bet. Now let's get our handy dandy arrow. I feel like I'm on blues clues. Remember, we looking at this black line right here. Let me make it, uh, let me make this black line thick so you can see it. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. If y'all do not do chart markups, you're not gonna get this. You're gonna be taking signals for the rest of your life. Ain't nothing wrong with signals, I love them. But you need to learn how to trade. <laughs> you really need to learn how to trade, right? So look at this. And it's I love it because especially when you build the business and you trade, because a lot of people think, well, she just builds the business or he just builds the business. They don't even trade. Lo, lo and behold, people get in the bag, man. <laughs> we do both, right? So look at this. It came down, this black area has, you know, been tested, even from this direction, it's been tested. Black line been tested here, you know, yeah, it broke through, but not too much. Same thing, tap, tap. All of it, we got all of this, this uh, I say like traffic, like all of this, like it's just a lot of congestion in this area. Like, like look at this, like look at this. Tap, 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 tap. Like came down, tap, came. It's just, it's a lot going on in this area. This is just a lot. So before I get in this market all willy-nilly, all ready, you know, um, I'm going to wait because it's just too much going on right now. I need it to, and even, let me see. That's probably going to be my take profit. Make that good. But even in, even like, you got to still watch out because in this area still, you got a lot of wick action, right? You got a lot of wick action going on in this area as well. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could have made my black line. I could have brought it up here to the next, you know, level where I had. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I want to bypass all of these wicks. It's a little, it's a little scurry. So I will remove that and then make my take profit there, and it still lines up right where I want it. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so remember, the green lines is gonna represent our take profits. The black lines are our uh, entry points for the buy and sell. Does anybody have any questions? I have one, Isis. I'm okay, using cool. the, uh, I just started in the uh, 52 week um, course. I've been trading for a minute. But what they, they uh, told us about the Milwaukee sauce. Um, so with me, Marking up my uh, chart with the uh, support and resistance, will I still be able to? I still should be able to effectively use that uh, method as well, correct? <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I don't trade the Milwaukee sauce, so I really I kind of forgot how it works. However, support and resistance is the meat and potatoes uh, for any strategy. You know, for any strategy. So I don't want to tell you like, yeah, you can still use it because I don't know how it works. Um, okay. But but at the essence, support and resistance, any strat, even <clears throat> for the people that do the whole ketchup and mustard thing, <clears throat> that is still support and resistance. When you're all using those like, wait for the ketchup to do this and wait for the mustard to hit that, it's still mm -hmm. key levels, support and resistance levels. It's just worded different, you know? 
Understood. Understood. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. You welcome. You welcome. And see, for me, my eyes, indicators and all of that is too much for me. It it makes my head hurt. I get I could do the moon, the moon indicators. I'm still learning those. And that's like that's a little different. But like all the lines, the teacups, the W's, the M's, the head and shoulders, I don't really know nothing about that. All I know is that when a break and retest, I'm buying. If it's break and retest, I'm selling. A lot of times y'all don't even need to know all of that. I'm not saying don't learn it. Learn as much as possible. We're always students. We're always students. But one thing that really got me was the guy who does the teacups. I think his name was Lazaro, right? And one of the conventions, he was like, man, I don't know nothing but teacups. Y'all ask me some other Forex questions. I'm not going to know it. All he know is what he know. And that's okay. Because if it's making you money, why not, right? And so that's why I just don't get caught up in learning other strategies. Most of the times, I don't even like to watch other traders trade, not unless it's what I'm doing, because I don't want to confuse my brain up with, with what I already got going on, right? So they threw me off. It's a bit much for the, yeah, indices for beginner traders. I ain't gonna lie. I did indices with $150, $200, right? But for a beginner trader who got to get their nerves up, you would do about 500. <laughs> do about 500, right? Do about 500. All right, you guys. So this, um, we did S&P, um, which is a stock. We did GBP. We're going to do my baby US 30. Does anybody else have a request real quick? Hey, Isis, this is Jay. I was looking at gold this morning. Hey, it's, it's going to do something nice. Gold was about what sale? No, bye. Okay, we're gonna check that out. Right now, I see this US 30 look like it might break above. I don't know. Let me check the news out real quick. So one thing with indices, and if any somebody give me a pair to mark up, we got gold. Anybody else in this um telegram on this uh Facebook group? What y'all got for me? What y'all got for me in this Facebook? Y'all gotta talk in here in this Facebook group. Y'all be quiet in here, y'all just be watching. Don't be no peeping time. Let's have a uh, conversation. All right, so hold on. They want me to, um, all right, let me go to these stocks real quick. All right, bet. AU, okay, I got you. All right. Uh, quick conversation. I mean, a, not a conversation, I'm sorry, quick question. Uh-huh. So, um, cause I've learned the above and low, a below from Akil. So you, you, you go ahead and mark up all your support lines and then you take them off or am I, kind of understanding it wrong me for this strategy you don't have to mark up all those lines when i'm practicing if i was like practicing i would mark up all of the lines to like train my eyes to see it now you can gotcha. mark them all up because they will hit eventually i just like for me the way my brain work i do not like clutter i just want to only two lines <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Cause I can see, I can understand that better with just two lines. So you just the the most recent. So, and once I do the most recent break retest and take the trade, right? Yep. Mark up on the hour, find okay. your support and resistance on the hour. And on the 15 minute, we're waiting for the break in the retest. Okay. And how do you, what's your, um, your rule about finding your, uh, take profit lines, just the amount of money you want to make? 30 pips. That's my uh, trading plan. If you guys don't have a trading plan, you just trading without a plan. <laughs> you need a trading plan. The trading plan will answer that question because if your trading plan is 20 pips, then you will measure 20 pips. If it's uh, 15, you will measure 15. I recommend everybody get a trading plan for sure. All right. So that's what I would do. Seeing that you do it in 15 minutes is like interesting. My, that, that lets me know my friend is crazy because he does it in five minutes. I do it there too. I do um, it there. It's a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, it depends, though. It depends. It really depends. Like I said, I do a lot of stuff off of intuition, so I can't even really, like, explain to you how I know. But it depends. I don't always do it. If I see my news is very, like, in my direction and I see the retest is happening on the 5, I may get in. But there's been instances where the 15 hasn't finished forming, but the 5 has did the retest. But about time the 15 minutes is done, it does the opposite thing. It, so, went, it goes down. Mm. Yes. So you got to be careful. It's more five-minute entry is more for more aggressive. Uh, trade. Okay. I recommend y'all wait for the 15. Right, right, right. So start out on the 15 because it's a good support system. 
Yeah, start off with the 15. The okay. more you get better at it and you can, you know, train your eye and see it and all of that, then do the five. But let's just focus on the 15. How often do you do these? This call right here? Yeah, these types. Yeah, I've been doing this call for two years. I, I, I had it just for my squad. However, you know, we all merging together. I was like, well, let me do it for the nation. So I do it uh, every Tuesday at eight o'clock. And then I'm going to also start to do more pop-up sessions, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. So just okay. stay tuned uh, to the group. And also just follow me on, um, on the gram. I got you. IG because, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys. So somebody put something in the group. We're going to do another one. And then we can take some questions as we marking it up. Same here. Put your Let's Instagram up one more okay, time, eight. please. Okay, cool. So we're going to check out um, A, somebody said uh, AU. Okay, so that's my Instagram. Can we look at GG, GU or GJ too? GJ, okay, we're going to do AU and GJ, okay. All right, there, I'm about to switch, I'm about to switch up screen. So there's my Instagram, but I'm going to put it on this one. I'm going to go to the hour chart. So we're going to do AU, uh, AU, A, uh, USD, and then we'll do GJ. And I think somebody said gold. And then y'all, I love this. I could be on here for hours talking to y'all, but I have to get ready to trade and I cannot be talking to people when I'm trading. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I love y'all, but I cannot talk to y'all. <laughs> Cause when you is 30, you need to be in the zone, baby. Um, look at this, so sexy y'all. Real quick before I remark it up. Look at this, broke, retest. Look at that break right there. Retest on that cute little green candle. And so all the way down for 106 pips. Then you could have got in another entry. Came back up, retest, went back down. Whew, 116 pips. Here was another entry. Came back up, retested the same line and broke out of this. Was three entries one, two, and three. Sheesh, can't make this. Wolf stuff touch up. breakout. Huh? Fourth touch breakout. You said what touched the breakout? You said fourth touch breakout. So when it hit that black line again, it's breaking through. This one? Yeah. If it comes back up? Yeah, when it comes back up, it's going to break all the way through that because it's, it's getting weak. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, both touches. That's so, an interesting, so this is that's an interesting perspective. Two and three is confirmation. Fourth is the breakout. Okay, y'all. Uh, so here we are, present day. Let's talk about it. Here go my floor. Let's do a little back testing real quick because I love y'all. Hold on. Let's look at this black line. Bam in the past. Okay. 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 Let me put it on the four hour chart because I do not feel like switching all the way back. Okay. Let's see. Let's. A quick question while you're doing it. Sure. The two lines that you chose right there. Um, I guess my eyes are, are kind of used to doing the the most recent high, like up real high and then down real low. So how did you choose those two lines right there that you chose? What did you What did you base them off of? Yeah, yeah I was gonna so ask the same the thing. Part, this is the part where we can't get too cerebral, y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm, all I'm doing is just looking. This is why I'm doing the back testing for y'all. I'm choosing this black line because I'm cho I chose it there because, and I could probably move it up just a little bit. I mean, you could put it there because look, look, look in the past. It's all in the past, baby. Look in the, so if I put it here, look at how it's reflecting here in the past. Look at how it's coming down, it's tapping it. It's coming down, it's tapping it. This is an area where it's, it's, it's um, resisting. Came here, came here, came here, came here. So this is another reason why I'm, I'm choosing. You, I mean, shit, somebody could have put it way up there. Right, you could do it there, but I want mine right here. So it's really no right or wrong, y'all. Like, cause look, if I put it here, that that just means that it's gonna take longer for the move to happen. But if I put it here, look, this is also an area where the market has been tested. Look, look. So it's not wrong. It's not wrong at all. I just chose that I want my move to happen a little bit sooner. This might be my take profit, my my versus my resistance does that make sense yeah it makes a lot of sense it's sweet look too. At 30 pips so that's so instead of making that instead of putting my quote unquote um resistance there i put my resistance here because it resists here as well 
and made that new level my take profit, 30 pips. It's really gonna take y'all marking up these charts. That's really, you got to huh? I was about to say, so it, so basically you're just looking at the zone patterns, like where it plays, where the, where the market basically, you know, plays, or you can see where it's in the middle or above or below, but it still stays within that range, right? Yeah. Consolidation, resisting. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's oh, right. Okay. Ah, I got it. Yep. It's, it's obviously an area that's been tested. Tested meaning it's resisting. Tested meaning it's consolidating. It's just testing what is gangsta. One more question, Isis. When you um, enter on the 15 minute chart, are you entering as a um, sell limit or, mar or mar mar um, market execution or buy limit? Which way I are you doing? I do market executions. I haven't tried the whole limit thing. I'm going to okay. try demo first to see how it goes. But more so, like I said, I trade indices and the move kind of happens like right there. Right. So I'm not really, you know, well, Forex is a little slower. So this is when these alerts come in. So you see how I come here. I do my little alert. I say alert me when it comes to about that point. So that's why I recommend the um, alert alerts. All right, so I just did AU for somebody, and then somebody said GJ, and then we got gold, and then I got to go. GBP, JPY, uh, Y. All right, Owanda. All right, I'm picking Owanda. Here we go. All right, what's going on, Facebook world? If you are just tapping in to Facebook, I want y'all to follow me on I. Jizzy G. Oh, this is so sexy. Look at it. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. 30 pips. Smack. TP gets smacked. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Let's use our imagination real quick. Let's just act like this black line was our support and this green line was our resistance. We waited, we waited, we waited. Bingo. We got the break. Here's the break. But the retail, now see, this is where that um that limit would have came in. Because see, it would have broke. You could have set your limit up at this line. Finally, hours and hours and hours of hours of traveling, bam. It would have knocked you in the uh, market on your sales limit. Bam. Take profit one is right there at 30 pips. Ooh. Sexy, y'all. Uh. Next one would have been here. Do you um trade both of them? Like, do you trade the the sale and the buy, or you just pick one and trade the only one? Um, whichever one hit first. One trade a day keeps the doctor away. Only trade one time a day. So if it if the break happened and the buy, I'm buying it. I'm making my money. I'm going to go live my best life. The first the the worst mistake because I still do it sometimes. That's why I tell y'all I got to take trading view off of my computer is that we want to trade all day. You already made your pips for the day. Somebody come in the group. They're like, ooh, ooh, XRP, XRP. You're like, oh my gosh, FOMO, FOMO, fear of missing out. Let me get in that XRP. You get in there again, you might end up losing your money, right? So you want to, that's why a trading plan, I can see a lot of people on here don't have trading plan, right? You want to have a trading plan. Trading plan going to let you know when, how many pips you need, all of that good stuff, right? So please get yourself a trading plan. If you need help, let me know. All right, you guys. So check this out. We're at the hour chart with GJ. What time is it? Okay, I got to hurry up. My computer about to die. It's a lot of stuff about to crack off right now. All right, so that's that. Let me get my phone charger. All right. Hey, what's going on, Facebook world? So I see somebody tagging somebody. That's what's up. Hey, if you're on Facebook right now, hit me up, though, because I'm going to be having a private training and I'm not going to have it on this Facebook group. So if y'all want to get in, y'all got to hit me up, like hit my inbox up right now or hit my Instagram up right now. If you're in this uh, Facebook group and you're watching me and you want to learn more now, I'm just going for sakes, put that right there. So here we go with GJ. So sexy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that. Good setup. Right. So we I did it. We marked it up on an hour. Step two, we identify the support and resistance. Step three, we're gonna put it on the 15 minute chart. 
step four, if you want, we go ahead and draw a little cute lines. Break, retest, tray. Break. It looks like it's probably gonna break the bottom. So keep your eye open for this one. When I put it in the group, I'm putting in the telegram group, tray. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my God, it just does it. It does something for me. It's the lines for me. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Why did I pick this area as a freaking take profit? Because it's hanging out, it's hanging out in that area. It's hung out before. Look at that. And it will be a fourth touch. There you go. Right? It's coming right on back. Right on back. It's like one of those lovers. Y'all haven't been in one of those relationships where y'all know y'all need to leave, but you just Don't keep coming back. <laughs> Don't even talk about it. That's what this line is like. It's like, look, I was supposed to leave your ass alone, but I keep coming back. Right there, y'all. It's so sexy. And then guess what? This level is going to be our next level that we will be waiting for the break and retest to take it down to the next area. It just, it just keeps doing the same thing. Look at that. 30 pips, 30 pips is the pivotal point. 30 pips. Ooh, 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 look at this. <sighs> Gosh, y'all, look at that. Bam, if you, if y'all see it, just drop, I see it in the chat. I gotta see if y'all see it, yo. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? Same stuff over and over, same stuff over and over, over and over, over and over. That's why I love the strategy. Not to knock any other strategies, not to say no, no other strategy don't work. I'm just person saying, I love this strategy. So we marked up one, two, three, four, five. I think the last, well, we marked up this one, we marked up six. The last one we're gonna do is go, and then I gotta go ahead and take it home. All right, uh, X, U, A, U, wait, what's go? X, U, A, A, U. USD. I don't trade gold, go to bipolar for me, like Bitcoin. I'm too hot and cold. Oh, oh, this is one we marked up with Jay, I think, that one day. Look at this, Jay. Making my way downtown, market broke and retesting. I'm TP. <laughs> Yo, look at this, y'all. Man, I don't know how to read gold, but that may be like 179 pips, I'm thinking. But look, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, my peoples. It broke. It retested. Depending on where you would have entered, if you would have entered here, you would have took it. You only need the 30, right? Or you could have waited. So this was the entry right here. Well, this is a couple entries for this one. It all depends on where you kind of marked it off, right? But... It just depends on where, where you came in at the market. But it broke and retest there, but that probably hit your stop loss <clears throat> because it went up way, way high. But look, it broke, it retest, it traded. It broke, it retest, it traded. Man, y'all. Man. Sheesh. And all of these is going to hit. Look, same thing. If you, if, <clears throat> if you do it the kill way and you wait for the hour, it broke on the hour. It retested on the hour. Boom. I just don't like to wait an hour. I would rather wait, make 15 minutes. Boom. Still would have made your money. Either or, it still worked. The strategy is very similar. It still worked. It's just less lines, and I'm doing it on the 15-minute chart, right? So this is the last one. If y'all got any questions, please ask me now while I'm doing this last one. Can you look at uh, the New Zealand dollar? Um, I know it's a forex spell. <laughs> no, well, all the reasons why I'm saying um, I might, that's gonna be the last one because I trade in this. Oh no, no! If you gotta go, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I normally start trading around nine thirty. I wanted to um read my book and stuff. So I'm a. I, how about this? Um, I'll mark it up for you, and I'll just put it in the group. You you won't see me do it on here, but I'll put it in the group. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah, y'all. I um when I get up, I do my meditation, I scratch, I read my book, and I read my goals out loud. But today I woke up a little later, so I was able to meditate and scratch, but I didn't get to read my goals. And so um 
that's one thing about trading. You want to have a regiment. You want to put yourself first and have your mind together, right? This is sexy. I love it. I love this. I really love this. I will never quit trading. That's why I've been doing it for three and a half years. I'm not going nowhere. Keep your membership paid. Don't get frustrated. Don't rush yourself. This is a marathon, not a race. Stay in this. Stay in it. I'm telling y'all, stay in this platform. There's so many different trading schools out there, but no one like us. Ain't nobody got the credibility like us, right? Stay in this school. Keep your membership paid. If the membership is too much for you, enter for the scholarship program. It don't even matter. And join me tonight at 7 because I'm going to be doing the building call on how to build a business. And we're going to be calling people's list today, right? I just want everybody to get to the money. I love it. That's the reason why I do this is because I love to create success stories. I like to see people grow. Right, I just love it, right? That's what gets me going. So look, y'all, we marked up gold. I'm gonna drop all of these in a group for y'all. I really do love y'all. I love this. I love to help. If you guys got any questions or anything, like I said, hit me up on my inbox. I'm gonna put my Instagram name one more again, just for the ones if you wanna enter in on that trip giveaway. I got an ebook that's about to be dropping. So um, the ebook is gonna be tied to the trip. So make sure you definitely get the ebook. It's called, you know, I ain't gonna tell y'all what it's called right now, <laughs> but it's definitely about finances and getting your finances in order and making yourself more financially attractive, right? You wanna be financially sexy, right? So I'm gonna show y'all how to become financially sexy in my new book and be giving away a trip, right? So that's that, you guys. Um, that's been my time today. Uh, like I said, I do this um, really quick before y'all hop off. I got some announcements. I do this call every Tuesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys, um, me and my squad, we open up for the nation something called Momentum, Mental Momentum. We do it every Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. on this very same link. So at 10.30, go ahead and tap into the Momentum call so you can get your brain food. Also, today is Tuesday, so we have the uh, Building the Business to Success, I mean, for success with me and Mr. John Melvin at 7 o'clock. It's going to be on this same link, so go ahead, save my link, and put in your notes, ISIS's link, right? We're going to be doing a building call, so we're going to be calling people's lists. We're going to be showing you how to call the list, and we're going to be showing you guys how to create a massive list. So I love you guys. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys at the beaches in the bank. Somebody got something in the chat bar. Hold on. If I was a boy, I would have a oh. <laughs> baby. I got a heart on right now and I'm not even a boy. Just this market just turns me on. <laughs> I like the Stephanie. She Stephanie speak my language. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know my uh, trading name is freaky pips, right? I get really freaky on these markets, right? So I love you guys. I'm glad we're all here adults and we can, you know, talk like this and still relate it back to trading. So I'll catch you guys at the beaches in the banks. Peace and love.